What's up guys, it's Mackie Galax here and as promised I'm back with a review um, and a rundown of the features of the new AOKP Jellybean build number 3 for Android. So um, after a couple of days of using um, AOKP, I've just moved over from Cyanogen Mod 10 which was amazing. And I found AOKP to be a little more laggy compared to Cyanogen Mod, which is understandable because AOKP is tricked out with a lot more features than CM10. Um, but overall, the experience was um, okay, but not as fast as CM10. So let's jump right in and take a look at what are some of the features we can see here. So the heart of AOKP lies in ROM control. Um, you can see here but let me just pop back out and show you guys that this indeed is AOKP Jellybean build 3 which you can see over here so let's go back into ROM control and take a look at what we have in store so um, of course you have the AOKP that tells you about um, you know the developers and if you do use AOKP, I um, encourage you to donate to the developers. It will really help the project going. And the first option that we see up here is general UI. You have an option to disable boot animation upon which you'll be labeled a jerk. So you can have the pink unicorn come back on and have the jerk label removed. Um, the custom carrier label is this label right down here. Well, right now it shows no internet connection, but um, if you're using T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, whatnot, it, that usually shows up down here. And I can go in and actually change that custom label to whatever I want. So I'll go ahead and change that, and you can see Boss coming right up. Um, if you want it to go back to default label, just clear it up and back to the default label no internet connection in this place in this case um, a really cool feature is changing the background photo so for no other reason I want to put some food for no reason whatsoever I want to put some food in the background so hit the save button there and this messes up with the navigation controls a little bit let's just go back here and well, it takes a while for the navigation to come back on. All right, it's back on. So now I can pull down. You can see I have a you know pretty cool picture in the background of my notification. So if you're into that sort of stuff, you can have that there. Um, notification background alpha is basically the transparency for notifications that come up you can also have show notification count if you want you know um, count of unread emails or SMSs a la iOS you can also have a kill all button on the recent window so if I bring out recent well I don't have any recent app but if you do enable that you'll have a kill all button pop up here to tell you um, that you can actually kill all the software that's currently running IME switcher shows you the language uh, that you're using. You can have 180 degree rotation. Um, switch tablet UI and change LCD density um, as well. So it's all pretty cool. Um, let's pop back out there real quick. And you can customize your lock screen. Um, so I'll, I'll just let you guys play around with that. And on the power menu, power menu is the menu that comes up when you hit the power button if I do it right so when you long press the power button this is the power menu that comes up this is a standard one that allows you to power off reboot set into airplane mode or vibrate volume and silent so I can add a navigation bar toggle to that and hitting this for example will take me home disable that and I can also show screenshot so I can hit screenshot and will take screenshot of whatever screen I'm on All right pretty cool um, navigation bar is this bar down here so you can change the 
uh, visibility, change the color. You can also change the arrangement of the buttons or add four buttons if you want. And one of our neat feature here is when I slide up um, on stock Jelly Bean, all I can do is slide up and bring up Google Now. But check this out. I can have three targets. I can have up to five targets, in fact, and change each of the navigation targets to um, whatever it is I want. So I can go in and select an application. Say I want or the target on the right left to be the phone. And I can have the target on the right to be a calculator, for example. So now when I swipe up, you see calculator on the right and phone on the left. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to change that back to one for now. You can also control the button glow animation um, and change the button transparency. You know, my buttons have disappeared here because it takes a while to reset after you change stuff. Okay, so you can have really bright or really dim so you can save battery. You can have it invisible altogether if you really want to go to the extent to save um, battery. So back out and I can customize the look of my battery icon right now I have a circle mod battery as you can see right up there or I can go in and change it to text only it will show me just percentage etc etc um, can have battery bar location it's just a bar right up top to show you how much battery you have left so that bar right up top shows me how much battery I have left and I can have it sent to mirror it if I like um, it will just expand on either side to show me how much battery I have so I'm just gonna hide that for a while you can have a charging animation which doesn't really work for um, circle mod etc you can also change the look of my clock AM PM style you can have center clock right if I so fancy and here we come to the toggles which is uh, one of the one of my favorite features of um, any custom ROM which is this series of toggles that you see up here where I can turn on and off Wi-Fi data GPS sync and tethering I you know you can you can change that enable toggles and say I want to go in and enable Bluetooth so now when I Scroll down, you can see Bluetooth added on there. Um, and you can change the order. So if I want Bluetooth right up here, I can just have Bluetooth right in front. Okay. And I can also toggle the background alpha. You can see here that um, it's quite a large degree of uh, transparency right there. I can lower the transparency or sorry increase the transparency or lower it all together you can see it change right there brightness location is um, the brightness bar right up here I'm on minimum brightness right now so I'm just gonna go in and get rid of Bluetooth so I don't really want that And then you can have signals, which doesn't, yep. So that's the signal text to indicate the strength of my Wi Fi signal. You can see here, as you put it to signal text, it can show 36%. That's the Wi Fi signal that I'm receiving. Or you can have it just set back to bars and then it'll show up as bars. Uh, and a really neat feature is LED. You can actually set uh, LED timing, color, etc. for um, different apps. So you know, I can add an app, say directions navigation, and accordingly change the um, LED signal. So I'm just going to delete that. 
whereupon ROM control quits. Let's get back in. Um, there's also some neat weather features, vibrations, and of course performance. Um, you know, you can overclock your processor on here, change the voltage settings. So everything you'd expect from a fully pimped out ROM like AOKP. So that was a quick tour of the features of AOKP. I, in summary, I found this ROM to be not as quick as CyanogenMod 10, but um, given that it's got all these extra features on it, you know, if you're into really customizing the your ROM down to the finest detail, um, you might want to take a look at AOKP. So if you found this video helpful, um, subscribe, leave a comment, and give a thumbs up, uh, and I'll see you next time.